So in this lecture in uh, regarding the cryptographic terminology we will talk about uh, another algorithm that we will call it as the Defi Hellman key algorithm ok. So basically RSC algorithm it used to provide confidentiality initially. So the basic idea of RSC algorithm is what you are going to take two prime numbers and generate a two key values one is a private key the other one is a public key. But in the case of uh, this uh, Defi Hellman king, how to generate the common king between the sender and the receiver, so how to generate that common key we can learn in the case of what this Defi Hellman king. So basically this Defi Hellman key can also be used later on for the authentication also. So authentication means what providing the user's identity that when a <coughs> ok x has sent a, a content to y ok uh, y can later on prove that this message came from that x only with the help of that uh, key value you can say that is called proving the user's identity or the integrity of the user you can say. Now you can see how it is going to work if you observe clearly. So this is the sender side I can just taking some name like a allies and this is the receiver where it is able to receive the data uh, some name like Bob we are taking. So you can observe that we have mentioned that X is the secret of allies. So you can compare with the, the private key terminology since they have mentioned that secret of allies X is the secret of allies means what is the meaning this sender will not transmit that X on the channel and here uh, the concept is here we are our target is not to transmit the data first how to generate that common key before actually transmitting the data. So regarding that uh, we are calculating uh, this algorithm. So X is the secret of what allies we have taken and Y the secret of the Bob. So how to remember the things what I have told you that if we say it is a private key that key will not be transmitted on the channel. So you can observe that when this X and Y are the secrets you can observe on the channel we have not transmitted x and y on the channel you can say ok. Now you can see how to calculate this r1 is one function using the mod function like g power x mod n you have calculated. So this g and n are the prime numbers ok normally in the case of cryptography the prime numbers are going to be taken because that numbers are not divisible in a easy way. So this r1 is calculated. So you can observe on the channel G is transmitted, N is transmitted, R1 the calculated value R1 is also transmitted. But you can observe this X is not transmitted because X is a secret actually ok. So who has transmitted this sender allies has transmitted to the Bob. But remember that here you are not transmitting the data, here what you are doing is what we are calculating how to generate a common key between the. Uh, the sender and the receiver. So once this G and N R1 has reached to the receiver, so you can observe clearly this receiver has calculated the R2 value ok, R2 function you can say. How does it R2 is calculated that nothing but G power Y mod N. How does this G and N variables known to the other prime numbers known to the, the receiver, the sender only transmitted is G and N. And what is this y power y means what is y? y is the secret of the Bob and the secret value you are using in this function to calculate this R2. Same just like how sender has calculated g power x modern. And now this function R2 is transmitted to on the channel it is reaching to the allies. Now how does the common key is uh, calculated? Common key means what? It is a shared key between the allies and the Bob. So this is the common key, k is equal to what is R1, how you got R1, see this R1 is transmitted from allies to the Bob. So this R1 is taken and y is the secret of the Bob you can say once again mod function is applied because whenever you apply the mod function you will get a the remainder value. But what is R1 you can see here we have calculated g power x mod n so that is substituted here. As per the mod functions you can see g power x modern whole power y x into y it will come inside actually. So that is a g power x y modern. So this g power 
x y modern so this is call it as the common key but how can you say that this is the common key sharing with the allies or the receiver is sharing the common key with a bob it's very simple now you see this r2 is transmitted na who bob to whom to the allies okay here see how calculated once you get the r2 now this is the common key and you can observe this common key k is sharing with the bob actually so how can you say that both are same means you can see once you get r2 r2 power x what is x here x is the secret of the ls how you get this r2 value it is g power y mod n you can see so whole power what x so g power x y mod n you can observe that this function is same as this particular function so that's why this k is call it as the common key between the allies and the bob so you can observe on the channel you have transmitted g n r1 r2 but k you have calculated with the help of this okay defi hellman okay you can see now you can ask a, a very important question like sir from this r1 r2 whatever you transmit on the channel the secrets of allies and bob like x and y can be calculated it's not possible because r2 you can see r1 r2 you can see r1 is g power x modern by substituting all these values also x you can't calculate actually same with the case of y also now how well this defi hellman key is different from the rsa algorithm if you observe in the case of rsa algorithm at one of the computer so called uh, like a receiver you have taken two prime numbers uh, p and q and generated two key values one is a private key the other one is the public key say private key like uh, some variable like e sorry d and the public key is what uh, some you have calculated and how that is different from this algorithm you can see here by using these g n r on r2 x and y values you can observe that this both allies and bob finally they have calculated the common key you can see okay so you can also call here this is symmetric key why it is called symmetric because you can see both sender and the receiver has generated the same key you can see same key you can also call it is a symmetric key you can see okay so using this same key or symmetric key later on when they want to transmit the data they can use this particular key actually okay or combination of rsa as well as the defi hellman key you can apply but here whatever here i have explained the the key generation the common key between the allies and bob this key can be broken okay or that means we can say that here allies and bob in this aspect it's very clear that both are having the common key but this common key can be broken by using an attack that is call it as the man in the middle attack that means allies will think that it is having a common key with a bob and bob will think that it is going to have a common key with a allies but it will not happen if that attack has been uh, occurred actually okay and such a attack you can call it as a man in the middle attack okay, same thing once again it is on the diagram see these are the steps whatever we have explained in the defi hellman key Mm, what we have taken here see we have taken two prime numbers g and n okay so ls and bob independently has chosen the private case x and y okay so how to calculate that r1 is g power x mod n how to calculate that r2 by the bob it is g power y mod n okay and uh, they exchange the public keys and r1 and r2 so why do they have mentioned public key means because they are transmitting on the channel na you can see here in the diagram you, you are, these r1 r2 were transmitted so that's why they use some word like a, the public key now you can see they independently calculated the k value ls and bob you can see so both are having the common key okay now they have a shared secret key k that can be used for the secure communication later on but here what i'm trying to say is that this k okay whatever they feel like it is having a common key that key can be broken 
using an attack that is call it as a man in the middle attack. In fact, this technique you can apply in the max spoofing attack also you can say. How? In the max spoofing attack also you can apply or ARP spoofing attack also you can apply. So how it is going to happen? How does the man in the middle attack is going to happen? You can see. Just like here the allies and Bob, you can see in between now a hacker or a okay or a third party person came you by having a name like a Trudy. So in reality this allies is a sender and this Bob is the receiver who is going to receive the data. But in between these two people now the Trudy came. So just a few seconds, a few minutes before how I have explained the Defi Hellman King by applying the same rules. Now if you try to analyze this one, it will suffer from a vulnerability that you can call it as a man in the middle attack. You can see here, once again X is the secret of allies. So once we say it is a secret, then that will not be transmitted on the channel. You can see R1 is a function which you have calculated by taking two prime numbers G and N and this X secret is included here. So this G and N R1 is transmitted on the channel, internet or a insecure channel. But what happened is this LIC is thinking this G N R1 is transmitted to the Bob actually. Okay, because LIC want to share the or generate the common key with the Bob. But that G N R1 has been intercepted by the Trudy actually using some port mirroring concept or just like a max proofing concept it is intercepted. Okay, and after taking G and R1 what this Trudy or a malicious or a hacker what we can call it as uh, this G and N see it is transmitted as it is you can see G and N. But what content is modified the public key whatever is R1 has been modified as RZ and is transmitted. Who is transmitting this hacker or Trudy it is transmitted to the Bob. But how does RZ is calculated? You can see Z is the secret of trading with the help of this function RZ is calculated. Now once you get this message, Bob is thinking that this message came from the allies. But in reality, this message has been transmitted by whom? The Trudy actually. And you can observe a very interesting point here. This uh, Trudy also not modified the whole content. You can see this G and N are transmitted actually as it is. Only RZ is uh, modified actually. So this is what exactly in the max spoofing attack also the fundamentals of a network is what end to end IP will remain the same but in between the MAC is going to change at every hop. So that is based on that only when the hacker or a malicious um, is transmitting the malicious uh, soft, is transmitting the data he will not change the IP. He will use the IP of somebody else and transmit and he will insert his own MAC actually. Okay. So now you can see here this G, N and R, Z is transmitted. Okay. So this Bob is thinking that this message came from where? The allies but who really transmitted? Trudy has transmitted. So how to calculate this R2 values G power Y mod N. Okay. And why the secret of Bob? So why it is called secret of Bob? Because this Y is what? Not transmitted actually. So this Bob is thinking he is calculating the common key with what? Allies. But truly what is happening? Bob is calculating the common key with what? Truly. So how to calculate? See, here it is mentioned the label as what? KTB. So whatever you get the information RZ is substituted. So power Y means what? It is a secret of the Bob. Okay. So what is this RZ? It is G power Z mod N. If you substitute whole power Y mod N. So as for the mod function G power Y Z, only one single mod will be available. For example, see if I have taken some number like 4 mod 5. It is a remainder now. So you will get a 4 only. So once again, if I have taken, okay, four, okay, mod five, okay, once again, if it is performing the mod operation with a five, 
again you are going to get a 4 only. So this gives a clear idea that if you are performing n number of times also the mod, you will get the same value. So that is why this thing one mod it is eliminated you can say because it is just a remainder only we can say ok. Just I have given us some example say so mod operator something like a remainder. So now this you can call it as a common key. So Bob is thinking it is calculating the common key with the allies but truly what is happening it is calculating common key with this true D actually. Now here you see whatever this R2 is calculated this Bob has a transmitted. But this R2 has been once again has been intercepted by this true D you can say ok. Then it is calculating common key on this side you can say this is the R2 see because this is the R2 is transmitted now power Z means what because Z is the secret of what or true D ok. Now by substituting R2 what is the value of R2 the here the, the G power Y mod N that we have substituted. So G power Y Z mod N you can see this value is same as this value. So it is giving a clear idea now from this algorithm Trudy and Bob is having the same key on the right side you can see. Now you can observe that what this Trudy has done whatever this R Z is calculated. So that is transmitted to the allies actually this side. And you can see to the left of this true D, it is calculating the common key with the allies under true D you can see. So how it is calculated, how you got R1, see this R1 is transmitted by the allies. So the G power XZ mod N. Now this RZ whatever this true D has calculated, here you can see that is transmitted to allies. But allies is thinking that this RZ okay public key whatever might be okay value thinking that it came from the Bob but truly who has transmitted this truly has transmitted. So with the help of RZ you are calculating a common key you can see. So while calculating this LIC is thinking it is calculating a common key with the Bob but truly what is happening it is calculating with the truly. You can see now these two values are same. So we can say that LIC is sharing the common key with the truly. So now you can see what happens after the key generation this entire algorithm LIC is thinking you can see here this LIC is thinking it is having a common key with the Bob. Same like that Bob is thinking that it is having the common key with what LIC. But the fact is but the truth is this Trudy is playing the game you can see Trudy is having the common key between these two. So such an attack you can call man in the middle attack because they are in an illusion that they had a common key. So using that key when they transmit the data by encrypting with the help of the key then this, this true D is actually having the common key between these two. Allies will send some data he thinks that the data has reached to the Bob no that will be intercepted with the true D okay because it is having the common key. Same like that he will send the content to the Bob, Bob will think that he got a message from the allies but reality is what Trudy has transmitted. So this attack is known as the man in the middle attack you can say. So we can say one important point that so the defeat Hellman key in that what is the vulnerability means what it can suffer from the man in the middle attack ok got it.